Do you like a dish that's game day ready and will have your family and friends drooling while they wait for their turn at the dipping dish? Then you are at the right place. This recipe is worth sticking around for. But before we get into today's recipe, if you're a fan of easy, delicious recipes that you can make yourself even as a beginner, then you've come to the right place because that's all we do and we upload three, four, even five times per week. So if that's of interest to you, please subscribe to this channel and be sure to click the little bell so that when we upload new videos, they will appear on your YouTube homepage. All right, let's get into today's recipes. Today's recipe, you are going to use two pounds of boneless chicken thighs. And those can be frozen or fresh. If it's frozen, you're just going to pressure cook it a little longer. And I'll talk about that in just a little bit. I'm using frozen in this recipe. So get your chicken in the pot and then we are going to add two blocks of cream cheese. That's a total of 16 ounces of cream cheese. Then we're gonna toss in there um, half a cup of hot sauce. You're going to want to use Frank's Buffalo sauce. That's the best kind, it has the best flavor. If you use a different kind of hot sauce, it's okay to use a regular hot sauce, but you're gonna wanna add a tablespoon of butter. Same amount of hot sauce and a tablespoon of butter. It's still not gonna be as good as Frank's though. So just use Frank's. <laughs> See, I'm using Frank's there. Um, then you're gonna wanna add half a cup of chicken stock. I have some fresh chicken stock because I just boiled some chicken. So you can see that's full fat, homemade chicken stock. You can use the chicken stock concentrate, just use half a teaspoon and um, half a cup of water. Um, but really, if you can make your chicken stock yourself, you'll be game days ahead. Then you're going to want to toss in a packet of ranch dressing seasoning and then put your lid on your pressure cooker and pressure cook for fresh chicken 10 minutes. If it's frozen, 15 minutes. So here you can see this. I have a stovetop pressure cooker. You can do this in an instant pot. Just do manual setting and cook it for 10 minutes. If you have a large pressure cooker, like an eight quart, you're gonna need to add another half cup of water. Then once you get it out, pour it in a dish, add um, three quarters of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. And then once you get it all mixed up good and that chicken all broke up, you're gonna put another quarter cup of shredded cheddar cheese, sprinkle that over the top, as well as about a quarter cup of um, crumbled blue cheese, unless blue cheese is not your thing. And in that case, just leave it off. Now visit me over on Loaves and Dishes. I have a ton of serving suggestions, a great pro tip that'll just have everybody eating out of your hand, <laughs> and lots of serving suggestions and all the tips and tricks. So just visit me over at loavesanddishes.net for more information about this great recipe with the full recipe at the bottom of the page. All right, I'll see you next time. You behave, enjoy your game day. You might wanna make a double um, batch of this dip because it's gonna get gone in an instant. See you soon. Hey, this is Wendy. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you'll join Sarah and I on our mother-daughter adventures and takeout. You can find Dorks with Sports wherever you download podcasts or at dorkswithsports.com.